So in the spring, yep. you come back to us uh, for a concert of French music. Yes. And uh, could you uh, talk about your background with those pieces and uh, a little bit about what they mean to you? Oh, it's it's very personal because this is a. Um, I was born in a musical family, and as far as I remember, I always listened to to to, to this repertoire, Debussy. And, uh, and Ravel, of course, and Duty, Duty uh, I don't conduct his music that much, but I'm, I love his music, but I don't have the opportunity to, to, to perform it that often. But this cello concerto was the opportunity. But the music of Ravel and Debussy, of course, I, this is a little bit pretentious to say that, but I feel that I know them through people who knew them. Uh, one of my teachers played under the direction of Ravel and uh, I started playing the violin when I was uh, four or five years old and, and uh, there was uh, in France a famous harp player called Lily Laskin who was the first uh, woman uh, to be accepted in the Paris Opera Orchestra in, in 1914. And she was a very good friend of the family. And every weekend she used to come home uh, with us. And uh, I was playing with her. And she knew, she knew Debussy. She played for him. Of course, I was too, too, too small. And, uh, but now with distance, I'm aware of that. This is uh, incredible. This is, uh, um, this is not so far of, away. You know, we are in 2017, and um, I think we are still fortunate, you know, my generation, uh, to have worked with master who met these this, uh, this people. So even a composer, a, Fr a French composer like Florent Schmitt, or uh, one of my composing teacher was one of his protégés. And so, so there's really a, a direct uh, affiliation, you say that? Uh, mm -hmm. Affiliation. Affiliation um, in terms of French music. But today, you know, with globalization, the, the, uh, I think this is, it's not because I'm French that I have to conduct French music. And it's not because a conductor is German, is not allowed uh, to perform French music. I think now this is the, the universal patrimony and, and everyone has to, to defend and, and fight for this wonderful repertoire. So, uh, but I'm always glad, of course, to, to do it because I love that.